Sorry about that. That was my dad who called me just about a minute after I just start. Last part was just stupid. Whatever.
so cool. I'm really liking this. Okay, that did not make any sense at all. So how in the world did I die from that? I never touched anything. Sweet, I got Rex Fury. Why is the robber? There we go. And the bar is all I hope I that hopefully the, I hope the camera does not die during the middle of it. It gets if it dies during the middle of it, I'm gonna be really mad. It's no good, Dad. We can't reach the parachute release. Excuse me. Did anyone order a hero? Chase! Pull that lever! This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about that mountain of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, man. Statue of Liberty, that's what it is. Done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod and Rex. He got away to Rex! <laughs> Rex is the problem. Oh? He crashed head first through someone's roof ten minutes ago. <laughs> hey Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> <laughs> huh, that agent is still riding the bike there. Well, there we go. That's the end of the game. I beat the main story mode, so... But keep in mind, though, um... 
I only completed at least 400 percent of the game in that. So I still have a lot of unlockables to do. And luckily the camera's not dying, so that's pretty good. There's a lot I, got, I do have to say about this game. There's a lot I'm gonna have, I do have to say. Whew. Well, I definitely do have a lot of things to say though about this. This game was surprisingly good actually. Oh, listen to this. Okay, enough of me sitting. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let me just turn this down a little. I do have a lot of things to say. This game was surprisingly good, actually. I originally didn't want to play this, though, but I thought maybe since this is the first Wii U game, I might as well give it a chance, though. And it surprised me, actually. I mean, well, I'm walking on sunshine. I should stop singing. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely do like the game, actually. I mean, I'll be quite honest, there's a lot of things I did like about it. I liked the overall design of the open world. I liked the idea of turning a simple uh, legacy toy, police toy, based into an open world game with m numerous possibilities. I really like that. I do like the graphics on the game for a brand new uh, console. Well, I would I would say it's the Wii U console. I will say it's still next gen console. I mean, yeah, true. The hardware may not be next gen, but it's still a next gen console. Similar to the Wii, however, where the hardware was not next gen, but the system itself was still, but the Wii console was, itself was still, oh, oh, excuse me, was still considered as a seventh generation console. And for the first uh, Wii U game, this is probably one I'd recommend mostly LEGO fans will definitely enjoy this one. I liked it, I did think the gameplay was actually pretty good for a LEGO game actually, for a kid's stop in open world. I thought the gameplay was good. The gameplay was definitely like Grand Theft Auto where you have numerous side content and side missions to complete. Now to unlock unlockables and so forth. Um, I did also like the whole graphics of the game. The graphics are very colorful. The level design is really good. Looks really beautiful and good at the same time. The story, I will say that me and I also do like the characters in the game. I'll actually say that I do like the characters. Frank, Frank Cunning gets a lot of good laughs in that. But Ellie's actually, Ellie's also pretty well developed. Now, a lot of these characters in my opinion are really well developed and memorable in my opinion. Yeah, and there's some few other ones I do like about the game, but I'll explain better in my review of the game. However, that doesn't really mean that the game's perfect or anything. I mean, it definitely is the best LEGO game I've played ever. No, but the, the game does have problems though, for example. But for example, um, one of the RC vehicles, which is in that electro cave that you control with the left thumbstick, the controls on that one were fucked up beyond belief. The camera angle at time, although most of the time the camera angle isn't really that bad, there are times that the camera angle it's a little bit hard to control and it's hard to judge your jumps. Like there were a couple of moments off camera during the off and during some of my um, playthrough parts that um, I had a little bit trouble trying to judge my jumps. And whenever I make the jump, the camera like switches and it makes me miss miss my jump and it really gets annoying. That um <clears throat> that, and uh one other thing I guess I will say that I kind of have a little small problem with is that the story, although it is pretty funny though, with a really good script and very funny humor, though the story is not really original or anything like that. It's just your basic cop after bad guy story that that, um, that we've already heard of before. But I will definitely give them credit for adding in some twists into it though, and adding in a lot of good humor though. And those I think makes up the pro for the story problem. But besides those problems, I liked it everything else actually. Yeah, I liked the gameplay. All the numerous amount of side content you can do, collectibles. That and keep in mind, though, people. Um, um, I only upload about 36 parts so far. I still have to edit more videos, 
So by the time I upload all of them, I'm probably gonna have over 50 parts in total. Now, and I spent like, and some of them were like, most of them were like 10 to 15 minutes long. So if you count all those in that, and I've also been playing off camp for over an hour or two. So if you count all that, I'd say that I would have to say that um, I would have to say that the game, if you just try to beat the main story, it takes over 30 hours or so. Actually, and probably 50 hours or so in total if you want to try and complete the game 100%. Nah. Overall, I actually did like the game, actually. In that. Pretty good. A few problems here and there. I will explain a little bit better in my review of the game. Which will probably be maybe by the end of this week or something like that. But, but who knows when it's going to happen. I will promise it will be by the end of this week. And uh, unfortunately, I'm probably going to... Skip the cut. I'm probably gonna skip this actually because I have heard that there's a cutscene in the end, but it just shows the developer of the game in Lego style, so I'm not really gonna see it. Oh, never mind. Apparently, if you just press start, you can skip there. Look at this. <clears> TT <throat> Fusion. Well, I could play about 41% of the game, so I still have 60% left. I think maybe what I'll probably do someday is, um, maybe someday if I ever decide to come back and play this again, I'm probably going to maybe use my strategy again. We'll do, a, like, a Back to Lego City playthrough or something, where I just do the side missions in that or whatever. Again, thanks for joining the playthrough, everyone. I had a really fun time... This game, a couple of annoyances and problems here, there, oh yeah, that is also one of the problems I forgot to mention, is the time loads, I definitely agree with a lot of people, the time loads are really way too long for this, though. so, <clears throat> so, again, thanks for joining the playthrough, it was a lot of fun, a few annoyances and problems, but it was a lot of fun. Alright, so, we're all done. Now we can pretty much free roam all we want and unlike the rest of the collectibles. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Okay, there's how long it took me. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but according to it, it says, uh, like, and keep in mind, this is with the off-camera mode thing. So, according to that, I spent it at least almost 25, about over 24, almost 24 hours and 50 minutes long. Now, and, I, and keep in mind, I have been playing the game on off-camera for over an hour or two. So I'd say maybe the, the, the length it takes to beat the main story would have to be 15 hours or so. If you decide to probably maybe do the rest of the thing, like unlock it, complete the game 100%, that might take, I would have to say, maybe uh, 40 hours or so. Well, again, I'm going to be heading out now, so thank you guys very much for watching the playthrough. I enjoyed it. A few, a few big annoying problems is in that. Yeah, but the game definitely is a lot of fun. Definitely, it's definitely worth a buy if you're a Lego fan. Fun. And for the first Wii U console, we first title for the Wii U console. Oh no, this is a definitely good game. Actually, it really surprised me. Really. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys uh, next time for the next Wii U playthrough.